Darth Vader Industrial Empire has entered the Secret Sanctuary. Hey guys, welcome back to the Sanctuary. So 1977, Star Wars A New Hope. I was 11 years old, uh, just weeks from my 12th birthday, my brother Mark put me in the car, drove me to the big Newport Cinemas about three miles from where I'm standing right now into their largest theater that held 1,100 people, and we saw Star Wars. And I was blown away. You have to imagine 11 years old is a pretty darn good age to be introduced to the world of Star Wars. And to me, yeah, Luke Skywalker was cool, Han Solo was awesome, but Vader was what really uh, captured my imagination from that film. I wanted to know more about him. It would take a long time to learn his origin story, but he was a very cool character. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you know I normally review polystone, quarter scale, some one six scale from Tweeterhead, and occasional one third scale. I don't really review PVC stuff, so this is kind of new for me. So if you're a PVC collector, you'll have to be a little forgiving. I'm new at this, but uh, let's take a close look at Industrial Empire from Kotobukiya. So this is from Kotobukiya's Art FX line. It's 1 7th scale. And it's from an illustration by Audi Granoff. And they very kindly include a small print of that illustration with the piece. And boy, Kotobukiya has really brought the illustration to life. It is identical to that Audi Granoff uh, illustration. I do have one other piece by him. I have the, the Sideshow print of Galactus to go with my Silver Surfer. That's Audi Granoff. Really, really talented guy. And I've always had an interest uh, in steampunk. I've never participated, bought any of the merchandise, blah, blah, blah. But every year at Comic-Con in San Diego, I see the groups there and I'm always improved by the detail uh, that they put into their costumes. Uh, there's actually a handicapped gentleman who goes around in the coolest steampunk wheelchair you can imagine. It is absolutely awesome. So here we are with the piece full of pressure gauges and tubing. I'll start up here with the portrait. Really, really nice looking. It is uh, a big switch for me to assemble a 1 7th scale PVC kit compared to assembling a polystone piece with magnetic fits. Uh, to be honest, this took me longer than I anticipated. I had real trouble with this uh, left shoulder pad, getting it keyed in correctly. In fact, I'm not sure even now it is because it's, see, it's lifted a little bit there, whereas the right one is flush. So it, it didn't really snap in the way the other one did. So I'm a newbie with this PV stuff, guys. But I certainly appreciate the detail. I've always been impressed with the portraits that Hot Toys, for example, can achieve with PVC. Whereas in polystone, it seems to be more difficult to achieve uh, actor likenesses. Let's look at the base. Again, it's, it's exactly like the illustration. They've matched it identically. So you've got all this cool metal tubing on this environmental base. Looks really good. See so these different finishes. This looks like almost like a wood furnish finish almost. An event. More pressure gauges. Looks really good. Lightsaber. Looks nice. Nice big belt buckle there for Darth Vader. Got these canisters over here. 
I'll show you from the back. It's got a good flow to the cape. Looks really nice. Show you the back of the helmet. And, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to pose him. This profile is pretty awesome. I kind of like this view of him. Although the head on is rather imposing. He's got a lot of presence. So if you've got a mechanical turntable, this piece would look really good on it because he's, he's good from all angles. Really, really nice. I'm going to go from base to portrait here. This is based on Empire Strikes Back. Um, I don't know what about this piece. It is so heavily influenced by steampunk. I'm not sure what is about this piece that makes it more Empire than uh, Return of the Jedi or, or A New Hope. But it is certainly exactly what you saw in the photos, the prototype photos. Nice grooves there on the helmet. These guards right here are flexible. Or that handle, I guess you'd say. It's just a strange experience for me to, to put it together. You know, it's PVC, it's so light, I'm nervous about breaking something. Um, it's nothing like putting together a polystone statue. Even putting the hands on, I was like, man, have I got this all the way on? Am I doing this right? But I think I've, I think I made it work. All right, let's take a look at the art box. We've got a nice image of the statue right here on front. Star Wars, Artist Series, Darth Vader, Industrial Empire, one seven scale pre-painted model kit, Kotobukiya, Artifact Series. Same image here from a different angle. Gotta love that outstretched hand. And the top just says Star Wars, and then a lot of gobbledygook on the bottom. But a nice art box. All right, should you buy this for your collection? If you like Star Wars, if you like PVC pieces, if you like the 1 7 scale, if you're interested in steampunk, those would all be good reasons to pick up this piece. Uh, it is exactly as advertised, there's no surprises. So, heck, 220 bucks on the Sideshow site. I'm sure it's available other places, Big Bad Toy Store, probably several websites for a piece like this. Um, if you're a polystone collector watching this because I normally review polystone pieces, uh, but you are interested in this, just be aware it's a very different experience unboxing a PVC piece than a polystone piece. Uh, it is much lighter. Uh, it does somehow feel more fragile because you kind of have to really work to force things on the hands and stuff like that. I felt like I had to put a lot of energy into to assembling the piece. So it's a different experience. But um, it is a really, really nice piece. And if you, like I said, like steampunk or a big Vader fan, this would be a worthy entry in your collection. So what's next for me? Uh, probably the one third scale Captain Spock from Darkside Collectibles. That's scheduled to ship either January or February from Sideshow. That's where I have it ordered. Uh, I'm recording this on the 21st of January. So I'm kind of hoping that that ships soon. Um, I've got many things from Queen Studios on pre-order, but I have no idea if any of those are coming in January or February. Several of them are supposed to be first quarter. So um, I hope I get them sometime soon. There's, gosh, there's Wonder Woman quarter scale. There's uh, Ledger Joker quarter scale. There's the Vision 
uh, full-size bust. There's a lot of good stuff coming from Queen Studios. I don't have, I've never owned a Queen Studios piece. So I'm really looking forward to my first one. Oh, the Tom Holland Spider-Man, which people in Australia are just getting this week. But uh, we in North America don't have it yet. Anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys soon on Rogues Gallery Live. I'll see you on Facebook and I'll see you on Statue Forum. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.